overwhelmed, angry and sad at the same time. You have seen this picture somewhere at least once, maybe on a t-shirt, someone's profile picture, or street art. Well, have you ever wondered who he is? What is this picture? The famous photograph taken by Albedo Corta called Guerriero Heroico has been declared as the most famous photograph in the world in Apos. The name of this iconic personality is Che Guevara. The Cuban revolutionary Che Guevara. Cubans gathered to remember Che Guevara. He is a symbol of radical political change and a hero of the economically oppressed. His full name is Ernesto Guevara. The name Che was given by his friend Nico, which means friend. Che is another name for revolution. Later this name spread all over the world. Che was born in Rosario, Argentina to a wealthy family. Father was an architect. Mother Selena was a politically aware modern woman from an aristocratic family. Both parents lived a modern life out of religious practices. Her mother Selena was a feminist and activist in the universal suffrage movement. She was the first woman in Rosario to drive, cut her hair short, maintain her own bank account, smoke cigarettes, which was against the rules in the eyes of the early Catholic society at that time. He was diagnosed with asthma when he was a child, which he carried throughout his life. Studied in medical, a small dog named Comeback and his friend Granota, given by his girlfriend Chishina, accompany him in search of thrills during his medical studies. Norton rode out on a 500cc motorcycle, passed 4,000 miles, traveled all over Latin America, Chile to Peru, Bolivia, Ecuador, Colombia, Venezuela. As the journey progressed, he saw the dark side of Latin America. Che saw the inhumane life of the workers in the Chilean copper mines, which were run by U.S. mining companies and the local capitalist community. The bare embodiment of Yankee exploitation, repressive right-wing regime in Colombia. Arriving in Peru, he saw the Red Indians, symbols of the Inca civilization, and the indigenous people of the Amazon. This long journey was awakening Che to another life, a strange change in his consciousness. The exploitation of capitalist, imperialist groups, social class discrimination, and class divisions in Latin American towns shook him terribly. A new one is created. Marxism was initiated to arrive at the realization that revolution was inevitable. After completing his medical studies, he went out again for the purpose of revolution in Latin American towns. After unsuccessfully trying to survive in Guatemala, he went to Mexico for safe haven. In Guevara's eyes, Latin America had two twin devils the United States and autocratic clans. Che became restless in the wake of the revolution. He picked up the weapon. He said there is no revolution without bullets. In 1955, he became acquainted with Cuban revolutionary leader Fidel Castro and overthrew him by joining a guerrilla group against the then tyrannical military dictator Batista. After the Second World War, the rise of Cuba as a communist state in the Americas was a real threat to the Americans. Che Guevara's name spread as the world's most brilliant petty guerrilla and Marxist. America's CIA launched an operation to kill him. He received Cuban citizenship, important state positions, and Cuban ministry. But Che had the fire of revolution in his blood. Wherever there is injustice, exploitation, deprived people, he is there. Africa came out in Latin American freedom struggle. Give birth to a new Vietnam. Bolivia entered in disguise Bolivia's struggle for independence was just beginning, but imperialist America had already tied the knot with a lot of money. Che's strategy failed. Caught wounded by CIA soldiers. He said with a soft smile, I know you will kill me. You can only kill a man and not his ideals. At the age 39 he was brutally killed. Both hands were cut off and dipped in formalin and sent as evidence to his friend Fidel Castro. That day, the BBC broadcast the news of Marxist revolutionary Anasta Guevara, who was killed in a battle with guerrillas. Later, a photo session was held with his body, just like the King Maharajas of India used to kill tigers or lions and take pictures with them. Revolutionaries don't die. Che Guevara really did not die. He inspired future generations. So even today Che means the courage to stand up against exploitation. Che's face painted t-shirt, beret hat, banner are the most sold all over the world. Che's confident face appears in the arms of Maradona, known as the god of football. Even after 54 years of his death, the blind man of America roams in the minds of young people of the world. He is a symbol of youth. Hence Time Magazine ranked this legendary revolutionary among the 100 most influential people of the 20th century.